<laughs> you guys ever have one of them uh, mornings where you're just so caught up in prayer <laughs> that you forget to do the most important things like make coffee start the gator so it can start warming up or you go out of the house with your uh, slippers still on your feet yeah <laughs> I've done those before oh lord why <laughs> He's got a reason. Well, we forgot to take this in the house last night to keep it warm, but it happens. That goes up here. That's for the John Deere 7200 that we're working on. Oh, well, things happen. So. Gonna sit here slowly advance the throttle. I kind of wish that you know John Deere put a throttle lock on their gasoline models, but um for when it's cold out you can just set it kind of like cruise control on a uh, dump truck or a pickup truck diesel that is ah, can't have the best of everything I am not going to attempt to move this thing until I see at least one bar on the temperature gauge for the water. We got some heat coming out of the defroster, but I still don't see a bar on the graph for the hot water, or for the uh, coolant. It's awfully hard to keep your foot steady <laughs> when you're doing this well because you forgot to hit start it from the remote this morning but lesson learned this is I think the third time I've forgotten my remote <clears throat> since I have had a remote start on like my 35M, my 35R. What's the old saying? Third time's a charm. So third time's a charm that we're not going to forget our remote. In 2024, there is our indicator that we can go ahead and move our machine. So we will need to turn our low beam headlights on. Place our transmission in high and give her a little bit of gassy gas. And it's still snowing as you can see on the window. But chores must be done. It don't matter if it's a Sunday or a Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or Saturday or a holiday or special occasion, things like that. Chores must be done. Now I can turn my high beams on. As you can see right there. So yeah. At least I think you can see them. And we will make our way to the farm. Man, them driveway markers sure are a blessing. Even though um, they have 
fallen over, some of them, it gives me a rough idea of where I need to be traveling. Just like these on the way up here. It's just like these ones up here. If I didn't have these right alongside this ditch here, my resume might as well say ditch cleaner instead of farmer. <laughs> if you guys would like to send me things, my email address is northeast Ohio farmer 43 at gmail.com it is all one word northeast ohio form farmer 43 at gmail.com or else it can be found in the about section of my youtube channel so we're going to put her all back together i might as well add too that none of the boys like being on camera all that much, if any, I try to respect people's privacy. If they say that, no, I don't want to be on the camera, then we won't put you on the camera. But if there's others that say, well, I don't care, then I don't care either. I'm going to put you on the camera. <laughs> Even though it is Sunday, <clears throat> the Lord's Day, <clears throat> still gotta come in here and check the waters and do the daily stuff like that. There's no such thing as a vacation from farming or things of that matter. Oh, darn it. Well, this time I had remembered to grab the remote off my nightstand. I realistically should just go right on ahead. Well, you guys get the idea and just kind of clip it there, but I don't, uh, I don't always take the keys. Well, I'm not going to say that. Um, yeah. So Sunday fun day, or should I say Sunday church day? Got to go deliver 2000 of eggs at $3 a dozen or um, a neighbor friend. Actually, he's like family, I think. But anywho, he gonna be getting two dozen eggs for three dollars a dozen. If there's anybody in the area that is looking for a, um, you know, looking for farm fresh eggs, three dollar a dozen. Um, I am selling eggs I have quite an abundance of them that they need to find a home for so why not make arrangements with me we can meet up at the farm and I can get you your farm fresh eggs there are ways to contact me my email is northeast ohio farmer 43 at gmail.com legit people only that is my email is uh, northeast ohio farmer 43 at gmail.com or if we're friends on facebook um just look me up there okay just look me up there Oh, is it a nice day out? 
it's cold, a little cold, but it's gonna be up in the 40s this week. So we got uh, to go deliver them eggs. There's two dozen, like I said. And um, we need to do evening chores. We gotta plug the 4020 in the block heater because um, we have to grind feed tomorrow. It seems like every, oh, three to four weeks we have to end up grinding feed, but that's okay. Okay, so that went well. Now to back myself out of here. I'm not a fan of backing out of driveways. That is why this nice gentleman has okayed me that I just towing my machine around in his driveway instead of trying to back my way out um, the drive. And can I see down the road? Yes, I can. And it looks clear, clear, clear. So down the road we go. So yeah, we're just uh, going down the road and uh, get ourselves back to the farm. Actually, I'm gonna swing over. Nah, I'm gonna go to the farm. I got stuff to do here. Chores and then church to get back to tonight. It's always a good thing to be in church whenever you can. So we just got done putting more hay out. And um we're gonna go plug our John Deere 4020 in. So that way even though it feels warm out right now there's no telling what the temperature is going to be in the morning so um we're just going to plug it in because that block heater will well it does just what it is called a block heater it heats the engine block up on this tractor and oh come on don't be a pain in the butt it heats that engine block up okay and this right here is the engine it is a 94 or no 90 horsepower John Deere 404 cubic inch engine okay and that little guy right here that is the block heater plug plug it in a extension cord right there you plug it into an outlet right there give it about i don't know six or so hours so um yeah, six o'clock tonight to oh eight o'clock tomorrow or so. That'd be what over twelve hours. So it don't hurt to let it sit for longer than it has to. There are different ways of plugging a block heater in to the building or whatever. Is what I do is I plug it into the tractor and or the the off road truck and over at the gravel pit um basically the block heater end which is this guy here it takes coolant or it heats the water up in the block basically is what it does this pipe here or this hose here is what where the hot water travels correct me if i'm wrong but i believe it takes hot water and runs through this here so then what you do come over here and you find your male end or the female end i i believe this is the male end okay 
this is the male end you stick it into the the female end like a such and you just leave the cord there actually no what we're gonna do to alleviate a trip hazard is we're gonna, gonna put the cord well somewhat <laughs> somewhat somewhat hang it right there okay you can hear probably did that thing is working good oh somebody touched us up with paint that's why okay you can hear it working just fine so we'll let this sit i see we got some rusting right there i wonder what that is caused by I'm not ex entirely sure We'll let this go until, like, man, it's getting hot already. It'll warm this block up. Yeah, this block, it's stone cold, okay? It's stone cold. I don't get why people like seeing blue smoke come out of that stack or any stack, for example, on a diesel engine. I don't get it. I, you're being just hard on an engine it's better to just plug them in let them heat the block or let the block heat up with the block heater and then you go and start a lot less wear and tear on your diesel engine yup you guys will thank me in the long run okay so the chickens are all are all nice and healthy happy i just got my eggs the waters are good we're still at the same water level that we were well we're still full i should say from when we filled them yesterday this one is ran dry we'll fill that in the morning these this one here is okay and this one here is still froze but that'll thaw out on its own i'll just keep using these here waters this week i got this one here that's empty i can um utilize it this week if i need to and the feeder is a-okay Rumor has it that if you put some lights in for the hen house and all that, um, the chickens will continue to lay eggs. And there is truth to that. Very much so. They will continue to lay eggs throughout the winter because their bodies think that it is daytime all the time kind of interesting how that works all righty got the cows all fed and now i need to get myself backed up to that door so that i can get two if i got on buckets of feed and we'll take it down to the other barn we'll go ahead and feed them and then we'll run on home and get ourselves all readied up for church. Hi, kitty kitty. What you doing? You want in, don't you? Is that what that means? Did you just hiss at that one? Get, you mean to loud. Why are you mean to this poor little kitty, huh? Go run along. Oh, you're the troublemaker. What do you want? <laughs> Pretty cool how them cats <laughs> got this all scratched up from years and years of just using it as a scratching post. Hi, kitty. Hmm. You just need to go live on another farm, you undesirable cat. Nobody seems to like you. Look at her go to work. <laughs> That's their 
That's their signal for, we want food. Come on, do it again. Do again. Come on. No? Okay, run along. Aren't you a pretty kitty? Okay. Bye-bye. So thus, it is dark in here. If I did not have those lights going over there, um, the chickens would just quit laying because they don't have any natural light. Well, that is the best natural light that I can do at this particular time is LED lighting. So, you know, there's people in the world that, you know, just, you know, Jason and I were going home from church and uh, he's like, I says to him, because I noticed that he blew the horn on the dozer yesterday, or Friday, when he backed it out of the shop. And I'm like, you know something, Jason? I'm like, he's like, what? I'm like, I'm proud of you. He's like, for what? I'm like, you actually blew the horn on the dozer. Because he's not one for blowing horns and everything. And he's like, I do it on occasion. I'm like... You're supposed to all the time before you move a piece of equipment. He's like, yeah, I'm starting to have nightmares of hearing that stuff in my sleep. Them horns and backup alarms and things of that nature. I'm like, well, force a habit. And there they all are. You're on the wrong side of the fence there. The gate's open. You can go around. Come on in. The cows are fed, and like I said, I'm gonna get myself on to home, get myself all readied up for church. Oh, there's nowhere else I'd rather be in church. And, you know, people often ask me, they're like, can you unhook that thing, or can you, quiet it down the backup alarm I'm like no they're like why I'm like it's none of your business okay it really isn't so um then others are like well isn't that thing annoying I'm like no you get used to it after 20 what 20 three 20 some years of when you work for you know around the construction equipment and things like that you um, just get used to it
Right. And I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace. When he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land, what a day, glorious day that will be. What a day. Yes.